I'm drawing inspiration from one of the most famous scenes in Alice in Wonderland, where the Mad Hatter's fob watch is dunked into his cup of tea. And I've decided to recreate that fob watch with my mock turtle soup. And the heart of the fob watch is this. This is inspired by the Victorian mock turtle soup recipe that I cooked in London. Making an edible watch out of stock isn't easy, but bear with me on this one. All I've done with this is made a consomme, froze it, ice filtered it overnight so it's really clear. Then I just froze it again, put it in a centrifuge like a vegetable juice and it spun all of the clear broth from the ice. And then I froze it again in a minus 80 freezer. And all I needed to do after that was pop it in a freeze dryer and then simply add gelatine and finish with Madeira. I pour the concentrated mock turtle soup into my Fobwatch tea bag moulds. After six hours in the fridge, the watches are ready to be wrapped in gold leaf. My man had a tea bag, Fobwatch, is actually forming the base of mock turtle soup. So in order to make a mock turtle soup, we need mock turtle eggs, obviously. So this is a turnip mousse and swede gel on top. Turnip and sweet, classic British and Victorian vegetables used in stews, soups, consommes. That's gonna sit there. To my mock turtle egg, I add small enoki mushrooms. Now here, we've got, it's a, it's a terrine. It's pressed cured pork fat with braised ox tongue. Also, there's something about that turtle, not necessarily my cup of tea, this soup does not taste like turtle at all, but the turtle was very fatty, rich, and having thin slices of that cured fat is my nod to the turtle. And the oxtail itself, well, the original Victorian recipe is made with calf's head. I also add cubes of lightly pickled turnip, cubes of black truffle, a sprinkling of mustard seeds, and some micro herbs. 